My hope is to take my UB education and really push the frontiers of, of space exploration. I've traveled all over the world and I've always felt totally capable and that really came from UB. To be able to find very unique solutions to unique problems. And the learning I did formed the basis for realizing my American dream. This building will be a major, major asset for the university, but as well for the community, for the state, and I would be so bold as to say, for the world. The college university system of the United States is the generator of the intellectual capital uh, and our future. Ever since I was little, I was very interested in space. And I remember in third grade, I once was at, someone asked, do you want to be an astronaut? And I said, no, I just want to send people to space. A group of students and I designed an excavator to work on the moon. So we looked at the lunar environment and some virtual prototyping tools that they use at UB uh, to kind of design a, uh, a, almost like a lunar backhoe. Uh, and so that kind of spun off into my work, which I'm doing now, which was at NASA this last summer, doing research on sending uh, two satellites to the moon. What we saw into computer science, what we saw here, what they are doing with the post office and artificial intelligence and, and looking at the earthquakes and uh, how the buildings can survive. It's a very exciting work they are doing at uh, University of Buffalo. I am a part of the American Society of Civil Engineers. When you're designing a scaled model of a steel bridge or if you're designing a concrete canoe, all these equations, everything that you've learned, it just kind of culminates into this one project. The education I got from engineering made my life a success. Not just made a lot of money, but it made my, my life much better than it would have been if I hadn't gone to UP Engineering School. I started the company when I was uh, actually a student here in my, in my dorm room. For five years I worked by myself, and then I slowly added people, and until at the end it was quite a lot of people, and we had offices all over the world. I think the essence of a, of a quality university really is its people, its faculty, its staff, and certainly its students. But one can't do it on those people alone. Those people have to have an attractive force to bring them together. And part of that force is the facilities, the equipment, uh, the buildings, uh, the campus as a whole. Of course, when I got here, I found 10, 20-year-old temporary trailers. A lot of students were cramped into those trailers, graduate students, postdoc uh, students. We have faculty that are spread out across the campus in borrowed and rented space. And that's very inefficient when you're trying to get collaboration to occur between disciplines. It's a challenge, of course, to build a new building. Uh, I think tearing down the trailers was a, a strategy of mine to make sure that we had no way to go but uh, forward. This building that we're going to start today exemplifies the UB 2020 commitment to the creation of great spaces in support of academic excellence and an investment in the science, technology, teaching and research that are needed to grow our new knowledge economy here in western New York and far beyond. And instead of talking theory, what UB 2020 and then the School of Engineering Building show, no, it's bricks and mortars, it's reality. We can build on this momentum, and everybody within the community should get really excited about that, that aspect of it. It's sort of invaluable and very rare to be able to come back to a school that you went to and be able to create a building that'll be there for you know the next hundred years. 
The delegation came together seven or eight years ago to recognize that there was a specific need here to expand the School of Engineering and improve the School of Engineering. It took seven or eight years to get that done, but I think you're going to see that $49 million investment turning into uh, part of that economic engine that's so very important uh, here in Western New York and specifically at the University of Buffalo. We need uh, better labs and uh, with uh, uh, state-of-art equipment. So this new building will give us all these uh, things for us to prepare a better generation of engineers. The direct impact, obviously, is that you're going to generate people for jobs that are not being filled right now. But I think the, the more powerful things that a research university can do for a local economy are the kinds of things you see around Boston in the 128 loop or the Silicon Valley effect in California. Uh, the growth of, of small companies is usually generated by very talented faculty ideas. My relationship with UB particularly is important because I need the talent. I need the talent which UB can generate and provide to us. I also have projects certain times which we need research work done. I can use the professors here as consultants. And we really believe in teaching and that's the reason I feel that any contribution to teaching, it multiplies multifold than any other gift that we can give. We had to do a lot of fundraising for the building. Uh, we're about halfway to closing the gap. We still have more to do, but some of the people that have stepped forward have been extremely generous. So my son graduated in May of 08. I graduated in 1979. He's done a masterful job out in industry now in a short period of time. And I felt like I owed something back to the university based on my own success and what I've seen with my own son. I've spent 20 years at UB, and that's most of my professional career. These 20 years have been, you know, the, the best part of my, you know, of, of my life. And uh, so giving back to an institution that has made it possible is so easy. The largest gift in the engineering school's history came this year when Mr. Jack Davis, a local entrepreneur and business owner, decided to contribute funds to the building. I didn't do it for other people. I did it because I wanted to do it and I would hope that other people would possibly listen to my story and say, oh yeah, Jack had it right. I, I'd like to do the same thing, and I hope they do. We're visiting with as many people as we possibly can, and we're asking them to do whatever they feel is appropriate, but please help us now if, if they can. The payback will be enormous. At the end of the day, um, I'm not asking to be, you know, the next Christian man, like a great bridge designer, but I would like to be the best at what I do and to leave a lasting impact. One of my mentors likes to say, dream big, ask for help, and never give up.